more and more to the clan. And, um, yeah, there's definitely been some interesting things I've seen from Dr. Worm's play, and I'm curious, it's been probably almost a month since the last Rivals Recess? Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, like, almost a month. So I'm curious to see how Dr. Worm's clearing has evolved in that time, because last time I saw it, it was honestly looking pretty solid. Merchant Port, my beloved, I feel at home. I think this, this, this is the first game we've had, like, Merchant Port. It is, because I would <laughs> I would have said something similar to Yeah, that that's what Merchant I was Port thinking. <laughs> I, feel, I feel at ease. Wait, we've had Sunlust in this bracket, and two sets of Sunlust with no Merchant Port? Apparently. You can take that uh, up with her. That's not that's not a me issue. I, mm -hmm. She's going to hear words from you later. Anyway, <laughs> ooh, beautiful recovery with the fair to go ahead and edge cancel. You can ooh. tell, like, e Echo, sorry, Echo just knows this stage. Mm hmm. <laughs> magic card. <laughs> the magic card. It's so good. <laughs> I think one time I Quirk, uh, I I'm, I'm not kidding. I think one time Quirk was watching my stream and he added me in Rivals Recess. Like, hey, what's that one song you had on Merchant Port? <laughs> and it was this song. Oh, it slaps. Uh, speaking of slaps and cities, uh, Claren up a stock. I don't know what that transition's about. I just want to play Slap City. Uh, I can play later. Yo, slaps? Per perchance. Perchance, slap cities. But right now we have rivals of ether. This is certainly no Asha on screen. Mm -hmm. But I, we are playing frame makers. That's for sure. We got Orcane. True, Orcane on merchant. <laughs> we're, we're on merchant and it's Orcane. <laughs> this is frame maker. This is a frame maker. Orcane versus Octodad. Oh, please don't. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Ooh, find the down strong confirmed. Two stocks apiece, but um, Starry Echo. Yeah, ooh, hesitating ooh, the on the bubble parry. Yeah, move. tough DI there. Um, Dr. Worm, not parrying bubbles. That is something that I think at low level against Orkane is really important to learn. It's one of the harder, like, side parries to get in the game. Mm -hmm. But once you kind of get it a couple times, I feel like it's a lot easier to do it pretty consistently as long as you're not, like, standing right next to bubbles when they pop. Yeah, just gotta practice the timing once you get used to it. Should be easy. I mean, Claren also has the counter as well. You just kind of just jump into yeah. it. Yeah. If you Whoa. if you get in that situation, Dami definitely helps. Like Dami's better against Arcane than it is against most of the cast. Mm. Um. But ooh, ooh, barely misses with that um, empowered F strong. Yeah, was... Ooh, and the strongest move's gonna take it out the top. Speaking of, that was a critical tipper right there. Dr. Worm taking game one fairly comfortably. That was like a full stock, or pretty much a full stock lead at the end. So, that being said, Starry Echo did look really good at the start of the game. It was just kind of like, Orkan is a character that can really struggle to get in on Claren. Um, mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's got slippery movement and decently big moves, but nothing he has in neutral is, like, quite polarized enough to deal with the crazy big disjoints that Claren has. Yeah, you kind of just have to play the whip punish game, right? You have to wait for Claren to make the first move, and then you punish with one of your faster um, options, like down tilt, um, jab, yeah. front jab. Like, exactly. And like, I'm, not say, I'm saying it like it's easy. It's not. It's really you, you not. You kind of got to get her, like, panicking and throwing out wild buttons that are, like, pretty easy to read almost mm -hmm. otherwise it's gonna be really hard for you to break through her defense and once you do break through her defenses it's pretty good we definitely saw some good stuff from starry echo in that regard but i'm oh, interested that was crazy went with a <laughs> try to run off and do an up air spike do a little belly flop mm -hmm. it is the step really strong so i'm all for it Ooh, we're seeing a lot of fairies Ooh. beautiful grab at the dunk Maybe. that is just like picture perfect Good clearing stuff right there. You love to see it. That's like the exact kind of stuff that I would do to try to like get early edge guard kills. So <laughs> trust me, I know I've been hit by it from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm loving seeing that from Doctor Worm. Um, ooh, here it is again. All right, all right. Good DI there from Star Echo though. A, a general thing with Claren is that. It's pretty awkward for Claren to get combos off of her grab, so a lot of Clarens are just going to throw you towards the ledge every time. And so generally, if you're not sure how to DI, just DI towards the closest ledge. 
and you're probably gonna escape like a really bad pop. You might get off stage, which is not good against Claren either, but it's better than just like holding and eating an F strong or something, and like potentially dying for it at kill percent. Speaking of eating an F strong, just one more F strong, so you'll be able to take a stock. Ooh, there we go, jab into F strong, but cannot find the critical. Yeah. Another F strong, all the way off stage. One more. One more one for people. There at it home. is. Let's Beautiful go. Beautiful spacing right there, by the way. Up there is coming Dr. up. Worm, Dr. Worm's just kind of running away with it at this point. A little bit, yeah. That being said, Orkane does have a very terrifying punish game when, we, when he gets in, and we've definitely seen some good punishes from Star Echo, as well as a lot of people just not prepared to DI those strong attacks. Yeah, Star Echo needs to find more of those, um... I mean, I, I guess the, the, the bad DI on the F-Strong is what's going to be able to go ahead and seal those stocks, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh! Barely misses another one of those F-Strongs! I mean, it's working, right? That's, that's the button you have to go with. Right. <laughs> Let's go! Incredible. Did not expect a teleport. Oh, here we go. Starry Echo saying, don't count me out yet. And realistically, good string. Or has got some terrifying ways to kill you, especially off the top. Oh, there we and... go! Yeah, no bubbles at ledge, just gonna wait for the upbeat. That was some really good timing. A lot of people at this level struggle to time, you know, their um their punishes around Clarence upbeat, but that was beautiful timing. Fantastic. And Starry Echo was able to go ahead and clean it up, make it 1-1. One, one. Counterpicks Rockwall. Claren Rockwall again? Yeah, uh, Claren players, you are very silly, and we saw this happen against Starry Echo, too, and it did not go very well. Um, again, I'll say exactly what I said to Heathen in the last set. I think this is a... I think Claren's good on the stage, but I think most characters are better. The only one I would think of as an exception is, like, Absa, I guess. Um... So, you gotta be really, really confident picking the stage. And granted, I don't think Orkane's, like, insane on this stage. I don't know what's going on right now with Starry Echo, but, uh... I uh, just a full stock lead. Decided to give some charity to, uh, <laughs> Dr. Worm. Apparently. Yeah, I'm just gonna land with the dare. Not too much off of that, but still getting some damage. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I have no idea what you just said. You roboted. Yes! I the robot back! Who was that? Alright, though. Ooh, looking for the tech chases. Nice little nair right there. Getting up a little bit of damage. Ooh. Oh my god, the spot dodge attack, Starry Echo. That's crazy. You don't really see it get used that way very often. Probably because it's not that good, but sometimes it will work, I guess. Oh, and again, Dr. Worm really would be useful to get used to uh, side parrying those bubbles. That is one of the biggest things that I'm noticing right now, which is that there's a lot of like huge punish opportunities that are not being taken advantage of. And it's one of those things where, like... If you let them get away with it, then they're just going to keep doing it more and more and restricting your options in neutral. So like, it's good to know how to deal with that. Now we're at one stock apiece. Starry Echo looking, coming alive here. Both of them teleported behind each other. Nothing personnel going on here. Actually, it's all personal if they're both teleporting. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah? Yeah! Oh my god, and uh... Speaking of, Upstrong kills, very firmly looking like Orkane's territory right now. This game number three going to Starry Echo. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I saw that we were going back to Rockwall, and I was a little bit concerned about what did we learn here today. But we learned a couple of things, including... We should probably go Edelus into let's this try the on Rock Wall. Let's, let's, let's give try the Edelus. Let's try the Edelus. A chance. Um, yeah, definitely a little risky to do it when you're one game away from losing the stock, but I do see the vision here. The 
Dr. M. Atalus is a character he has more experience with, though I don't know how much he's been playing recently. Oh, but he's looking good. Dr. Worm looking great right now. Getting some pretty solid damage already right out the gate. 90% on that arcane. Now, I would say is death percent. In the right situation. Woo! Ooh, never mind. Dr. Worm. Thought you're going to get hit by the single hit of back air. DI is out to go ahead and get out of the follow ups and gets hit by the sweet butt. That is. Half of the hockey. It sure does. It's a tragedy <laughs> of uh, playing against Orcane. Mm, that's a weird hammer. There we go. Now we got the icicles. Honestly, out. kind of felt like an accident, but it's oh, always definitely. hard to say for sure. Okay. Not a bad doctor. All right, we got there. I was not ready for the green armor, I'm not going to lie. It's Ganondorf. God damn it. Come on. It's good. It's good. It's good. I wasn't ready for it. But I see it now. I see the vision. Yeah. There we go. Double up tilt. Found a way to get off the platform and then convert into a empowered F strong. One more stock for Starry Echo to go ahead and get into winner's finals. Yeah. I gotta say, he's looking really good right now. Um, got a lot of momentum on his side, even with this uh, Edelus Ice on the stage. You know, that Adela, um, Dr. Arm wasn't able to really do much with it, so now it is fallen apart piece by piece. And big ol' Galaxy F Strong right there. And from around the world. Starry Echo moves on to winner's finals to take on uh, Kuru. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and go down into the loser's bracket. And starting off on the loser side, we have Sunlust. We got more Shovel Knight. We're back, baby. Yes. Shovel Knight back Shovel on the Knight. menu. Um, Going up against Heaven. And now I don't actually need to talk to Sunlust because we are starting on Merchant Port. Yeah. Real quick, before we jump.